We have to move Kiruna because we have this big iron company, LKAB. They are expanding the mine and the ore is getting under the city. So when they take up the ore, they, they will affect the town. There will be deformation zones that are going further and further into the city. So we have to move it before it will get destroyed. Literally relocating an entire city, Kiruna will be a bit like a walking millipede with a thousand feet and moving, crawling slowly a couple of kilometers towards the east. The biggest challenge is within the social dimension of how people are affected and how you move unique identity of Kiruna and its citizens. I see myself as a translator between the residents of Kiruna and the architects and the planners. My job is to make sure that their voices are being heard and to transform that information to something tangible for the architects to put in a structured plan. The municipal of Kiruna is aiming high, saying that they want to make the most democratic urban transformation in the world. For us, a holistic approach is essential for getting it right and sustainable in the long run. We are expanding the existing city towards the east. We are striving for getting a hold of all the opportunities in this great relocation of how to create an even more attractive city and a more dense city and a more mixed city in a close relationship to the surrounding Arctic landscape. As this is a slow process, maybe during 50 years or 100 years time, we are giving Kiruna as much uh, tools as possible for coping with a lot of the unpredictable uncertainties coming up in the future. What we do after that, and that's the point of me as an anthropologist being at an architectural firm, is actually having architects that can put form onto that information when we can reconnect it to the residents of Kiruna. The city plan is for 100 years and the conversations with the residents of Kiruna needs to be for 100 years as well. Our mindset is also to achieve a more sustainable local economy throughout the relocation process, giving Kiruna less dependency on the mine and uh, the world market for iron ore. Well, I hope that the Kiruna citizens in 30 years will think that, well, we have a modern town, but it still has the Kiruna identity left, and it's an attractive town. If we can reach that, then we have succeeded with this process. Mm-hmm.